a contract author drafts the contract. Then the contract moves through several stages. This video depicts the life cycle of a contract from draft to active state. After a contract author creates a contract, as shown in the previous video, how to create a contract, the contract is first in the draft state. The draft contract must be reviewed by the stakeholders before execution. Hence, a contract approver needs to provide approval for a contract to move from one state to another. Let us see the approval process and the movement of a contract from one state to another in two user profiles, a contract author and a contract approver. Let us open the contract that we created in the previous video, how to create a contract. As a contract author, you can request approval at any state by clicking send for review. An approval task gets created, which appears on the My Assignments tab of the contract approver. As a contract approver, you must first claim the task before you can approve or reject a contract. To reject the contract and keep it in the draft state, click Reject. To approve the contract, click Complete. The contract moves to the negotiation state. In this state the parties in the contract negotiate on the terms and conclude the negotiation. After negotiation is complete, move the contract to the next state, click Send for Review. After the contract approver approves, the contract moves to the pre-execution state. This state denotes the conclusion of the negotiation state and implies that the contract is ready for execution. If there are no further changes to the contract, then send the contract to the execution state. In this state the contract gets executed and signed. After the contract is signed, it is now ready for activation. If the start date of the contract is later than the current date, the contract moves to the pending activation state. If the start date of the contract is on or before the current date, the contract moves to the active state.